sit back and enjoy the show. Killer whales have been a star attraction at SeaWorld for decades. The spotlight on the creatures intensified after the documentary Blackfish raised questions about their captivity. SeaWorld continues to exploit these complex and very socially interactive animals. But an AP analysis of federal data shows the annual survival rates for marine mammals at SeaWorld's three parks are at or near the top of all U.S. parks and aquariums. There's one, ready? Oh. Did he get it? Among the findings, Bottlenose dolphins and California sea lions here live longer than those in the wild. Overall, killer whales in captivity don't live as long as their counterparts in the wild. But SeaWorld orcas born in captivity live about as long as those in the wild population. SeaWorld officials say advancements in medical care have improved the survival rates. It's that ability to have access to them that is the, the key difference. We don't have that capacity with animals in the wild, so they're, they're sort of hidden behind a veil. On recent visits to the park in Orlando, Killer Whale Kayla gave urine samples on command. In another pool, a pregnant dolphin named Bossa had an ultrasound and a trainer comforted Freddy the pilot whale as a park vet drew blood. We can get what we need with, with barely interrupting their day. So I think that there's, there's been a lot more emphasis on husbandry training and preventive medicine. But John Jett, a former trainer of killer whales at SeaWorld, including Tilikum, who killed a veteran trainer in 2010, says improvements in medical care don't address the quality of life in captivity. It's impossible to mitigate the, the spatial effects of living in a concrete box. The first time I saw killer whales in the wild, I sobbed. I mean, I, I couldn't stop crying. It was such a stark difference. He and other activists are pushing for SeaWorld to become a rehabilitation and release center. SeaWorld officials say their work with animals helps provide a better understanding of their counterparts in the wild. Suzette LeBoy, Associated Press.